So there is a new bug in the latest Chrome major update, Chrome 79, that is being described as catastrophic, a major issue. And there's a couple articles we can talk about this. It was originally broken by 95 Google, I believe, and then Android Police kind of did a really good article explaining it that we can talk about. Basically, this update not only affects Chrome on Android, not Windows, if you're using Windows, you're fine, but it actually deletes app data from other apps besides Chrome. And you're, we'll explain how that happens, but it's it's a really big deal. So it's a, the title of this one from Android, please, is Google pauses Chrome 79 rollout on Android after bug wipes data in some apps. So they have paused the update. Apparently it went out to like 50% of users already though. So here's what it says. Chrome 79 started rolling out on desktop and mobile. Uh, unfortunately, a bug has cropped up that wipes data in certain apps that use is Android's built-in web view, which has riled up both developers and regular users. And this article is really good by Corbin Davenport. It explains pretty much the exact question I had at first. It says, you might be wondering how the heck can a Chrome bug erase data in other apps? Well, on most recent versions of Android, Chrome acts as the system's web view, the component that renders web pages inside of apps. When you log into a web page inside an app or use browser, web browsers like DuckDuckGo that lack their own internal rendering engine, Chrome is responsible for loading that content. Some Android apps actually run entirely inside WebView, such as applications built with Apache Cordova, PhoneGap, or packaged web apps like Twitter Lite. So basically, there's a lot of apps that basically use Chrome, are a glorified Chrome skin kind of. So they use Chrome to render everything and then kind of store their own data, but really they're using Chrome to a large degree to like do stuff in the app. And so one of the changes in Chrome 79 is that the location where web data is stored was updated. However, one com comment on a Chromium bug page point out data from local storage and web SQL, two types of common uh, storage commonly used in web apps and packaged apps wasn't migrated properly. So these apps are using Chrome to, I guess, not only render, but also store data for their apps. And this data was moved in this update. And long story short, when devices were updated to Chrome 79, web apps and web view applications had some or all of their local data deleted. While the data is technically still intact since Chrome didn't delete old data after migration, there's no way to access it right now. So there's these apps that were using these Chrome features and then Chrome had an update and now it's basically like the app lost the data because it was stored in a way using Chrome. And this is a really good point. It says one star reviews are pouring in for apps that are affected by the bug and app developers are rallying against Chromium developers. Google confirmed that it has paused Chrome 79's rollout on Android at 50% and is currently considering a fix. So yeah, these app developers who have their apps on the app store uh, have probably tons of users and the users are blaming them. Like, oh, I lost all my data. And it's basically like you reinstalled the app from scratch. Who knows how, what kind of apps these are if they don't have like syncing features or something. And of course they're gonna go on to the app store and leave one star reviews. I wonder if Google is gonna potentially roll back those reviews because it was not their fault at all. And one star reviews, you know, they can be really detrimental to an app rating. A lot of people go based purely on app rating whether to download an app or not. So here's Google's response, I guess. We are currently discussing the correct strategy for resolving the issue, which will be one of these two. Either continue the migration moving the missed files into their new locations or revert the change by moving migrated folder files to their old locations. So I don't know which one they're gonna go with. I mean, they both, are, they're obviously two reasonable options. Uh, we'll let you know which of these two options have been chosen soon. In the meantime, it would be good of us to collect a list of affected packages and details, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so, and this is unfortunately, it's hard to get a full picture of the apps affected since applications rarely advertise how they're built and data stored in online uh, accounts online is safe at least. So yeah, if you have like some sort of online database the app is using, that's fine. But yeah, there's probably a lot of apps that are purely offline, just using local processing and storage, but they use Google. And you might not be able to tell which ones these are. So people have no reason to know that it's using Chrome and they go on and they're like, what the hell is this? This one's from 9to5Google. And uh, 
here's where it says those affected took to Chromium's bug tracker page and they've described the incident as a catastrophe, a major issue, which is true. I mean, data loss is possibly one of the biggest negative effects you could have as a bug. I mean, back when uh, Windows was releasing their major update that caused data loss, that was only like a tiny, tiny fraction of people, but for some of those people, it was a ton of data. So just saying, and this is actually, seems to be applying to like a lot of people and it was already rolled out to like millions of people before it was caught. 50% still got updated, this could be really bad. And it says to end users, it says if the app was entirely reset and just downloaded for the first time, this includes save data uh, disappearing or being logged out. So yeah, this is pretty bad, but it seems like Google, I mean, at least is aware of it. This happened on uh, Friday, I believe, the 14th. So, or maybe that was, this article was from Saturday, but uh, the bug was released on Friday. So yeah, I'm sure they're gonna work with this. At least it seems like the data is not gone, which is good, at least in most cases. I wonder if that's in all cases or if just, you know, some data really was completely wiped. I don't know, but it seems like they at least in some cases have an option for how to, re how to resolve this. So I don't know, this is a big deal because Google and Chrome, it's very seamless. It's in the background. It's not like Windows Update where you kind of know when you're getting a major update. It'll like uh, tell you like, oh, we're updating Windows, blah, blah, blah. It takes a long time. Whereas Chrome updates, they're really fast. Uh, on even on desktop, it takes like five seconds, and then the next time you restart it, you have the new version. And on Android, it's a matter of just you know download a new up, app update, just like you would any other app. So you don't really know this is what caused it, and people might not make the connection because they might not have updated the the app that's broken or appears broken, and then they're like, what is going on? So this is a big deal. Obviously, not much more I can say about it. But if you have not updated on Android yet. I don't think you can even get this update because they paused it going out. But uh, if you have had apps that seemingly disappeared, I would just hold on and uh, see hopefully if it gets itself fixed. So yeah, pretty big deal. I think this is like obviously the worst kind of bug is data loss, but it seems like at least there's a good chance that some of it could be recovered. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think and uh, also be sure to subscribe and uh, I'll make new videos again on this channel whenever there's a significant tech update to make and maybe I'll start doing it more often. You guys can let me know if you want uh, update videos about stuff that's not so super duper important but still interesting, kind of like just a daily tech brief type video. Let me know all that down in the comments. So I'll see you in the next one.